Good evening and uh, welcome to usmlevideos.net. Tonight, I would like to give you a brief introduction to fatal alcohol syndrome and cage questionnaire. These two topics are very, very important for USML examination and uh, you can be sure that you are going to face questions on this particular topic. As always, I encourage you to go to our website at www.usmlevideos.net and browse through videos we have posted on different topics. Imagine by just spending 10 minutes a day how much you can review and revise and learn during your preparation for this important examination. Tonight, let me give you a few points. First of all, let us discuss fatal alcohol syndrome. Fatal alcohol syndrome, what are the craniofacial abnormalities that it causes? Then what are the neurological central nervous system abnormalities it causes? Then what are the growth abnormalities it causes in the baby? First of all, craniofacial abnormalities, short palpebral fissures, short upturned nose, flat mid-face, thin vermilion of upper lip, flattened feltrum. Those are the craniofacial abnormalities. Now, what are the central nervous system abnormalities? The most important is microcephaly, small head then partial or complete agenesis of corpus callosum. Partial or complete agenesis of corpus callosum. Then optic nerve hypoplasia. Optic nerve hypoplasia. Then hypotonia, less tone of the muscles. Then poor feeding and failure to thrive. When it comes to the growth, the baby will have prenatal and postnatal growth deficiency. It will be small for gestational age associated with failure to thrive. So basically those are the features for fatal alcoholic syndrome. You need to remember the craniofacial features like short palpebral fissures, short upturned nose, flat mid face, thin vermilion of upper, upper lip, flattened feltrum, prenatal and postnatal growth deficiency, small for gestational age, microcephaly, partial or complete agencies of corpus callosum, optic nerve hypoplasia, hypotonia and poor feeding. Now whenever you come across a patient with uh, alcoholism, you need to screen them. Almost all adults starting with adolescents, you should ask them about their alcoholism at least once a year. That, those are the recommendations. Now, the most common screening questionnaire is CAGE questionnaire. C is for cut down in drinking. A is for annoyed by criticism of your drinking. G is guilty about your drinking. E is for eye opener. So those are the four important things. How do you use these four things? The questions are, have you ever felt the need to cut down on drinking? Then have you ever felt annoyed by criticism of your drinking? Then have you ever felt guilty about your drinking? Then, have you ever taken a morning eye opener? So, those are the cage questionnaires. Cut down on drinking, annoyed by criticism, guilty about your drinking, and eye opener. These four things are very, very important. Even when you take clinical skills examination in step two, it's very important to remember these questions when you want to ask the patient about his or her alcoholism. And thank you very much for watching so far. And uh, please visit our website at www.
usmlevideos.net. Thank you. Have a good night.